Israelites led by Moses were on their journey to the Promised Land. Balak, the king of Moab, was alarmed at the Israelites' progress and sought the help of a diviner named Balaam to curse the Israelites. Balaam set out on his donkey to meet with Balak. However, God was displeased with Balaam's intentions, and an angel of the Lord stood in Balaam's way with a drawn sword. Although Balaam couldn't see the angel, his donkey did. When the donkey saw the angel, it swerved off the path into a field. Balaam, frustrated, struck the donkey to get it back on the road. The angel appears again in a narrow path with walls on both sides. The donkey, trying to avoid the angel, presses against the wall, crushing Balaam's foot. In frustration, Balaam strikes the donkey again. The angel moves to a narrow place where there is no room for the donkey to turn. The donkey, unable to proceed, falls down. Balaam, now angry, strikes the donkey with the staff. At this point, the Lord opened the mouth of the donkey and it spoke to Balaam, questioning why he keeps beating her when she did nothing wrong. Balaam, seemingly unfazed by a talking donkey, said that if he had a sword, that he would kill her. The donkey appeals to her history of faithfulness, questioning whether she had ever behaved this way before. Balaam acknowledges that she had not. Finally, the Lord opened Balaam's eyes and he saw the angel with the drawn sword. He immediately fell on his face. The angel questions Balaam about why he has struck the donkey. The angel explains that he was sent to oppose Balaam because his way is perverse or contrary to God's will. The angel reveals that the donkey, by turning away from the angel three times, had saved Balaam's life. If not for the donkey's actions, the angel would have killed Balaam and spared the donkey. Balaam acknowledges his sin, admitting that he did not know the angel was standing in the way. He expresses his willingness to turn back if it displeases the angel. The angel instructs Balaam to go with the men, but emphasizes that he should only speak the words that the angel will give him. Instead of cursing Israel, Balaam blessed them with the prophecies of future greatness.